hello and very warm welcome to swift tutorials in today's video we are going to learn about how to create custom ui search for using ui text field though apple has its own control for creating a search bar that's called ui search bar but in this tutorial we are going to learn that how can we make a ui text field to work as a ui search bar so let's start open up your xcode and create a single view application project and I already created one and I named it custom search bar so you can name it custom search bar then in the first step we will design our UI and it will be a UI text field okay let me change make it like this and change the background color of the view to this yellow and here let me make the constant for our search bar so it's from 0 from the top 0 leading and 0 trailing and height would be a 50 pixel okay 50 pixel is enough okay so here it is our ui is ready for the search and then we need a ui table view to display the search UI table view so it's going to use to display the search results okay so let's make it like this add 0 0 0 and 0 so this the top is with relative to the text field here you can select it here round text field okay it's automatically done so here it is so we are done with the UI part and so now we need to create an IB outlet okay so make it like this and here we have our view controller and here we have our text field and here new referencing outlet and drag and drop here and say txt search var and for table view we need new referencing outlet and tbl search results okay so outlets are done and now we need only the view controller.swift so that we can code our tutorial and here let me make it bigger okay so here it is for this first we need an array where um, like say you can name it fruits array of type string okay is equals to array and here we say where searched array is equals to that is of type same type that is our of our array fruits array and it's array so now let's populate the fruits array so fruits fruits array dot append and here we say apple and add two or three fruits okay orange lychee pine apple okay so this is the list of four ports you can take whatever your array is now save for str in fruits array okay we will add searched array dot append str so we make our search array equals to our fruits array so here we say tbl search results dot delegate equals to uh, only data source because we don't need to require it. okay self and here we need that we are going to use ui data source ui table with data source sorry ui table with data source goes here and here we say let's implement those ui table view data source and here we say table view 
number of rows in section and here we say return searched array because we want to not make something with our original array so search array dot count and here we say table view cell for row for row at index path and this is and here let's say let cell is equals to table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier so it's a cell okay here we check if uh, cell is equals to equals to nil then cell okay we need to make it where not let we make it where and cell is equals to ui table view cell and here style dot default and user identify will be a cell okay and here we say cell dot text label dot text is equals to searched array and here it is index path dot row and here we say return cell okay we are force unwrapping it because the cell is required oh if the method is different make me a table view cell for row I, instead of this I use committed in table view cell for and here it is cell for row index path so pardon me that I made a mistake there so here this is the two cells we are going to use so that we can populate our table view okay so now the errors are gone and our code is clear so now so if at this moment if we run our code you can see you can see the table view is pop getting populated with our fruits list So here it is, we'll make it like this. Okay, so the app is installing and it's running on iPhone 10 simulator. So here you can see that our table is showing. So now let's make a little change to the UI. Okay, because it's not, we need some distance here so that you can figure out because it's not showing the text field properly so here we go to constant and table view table view top 2 and here we say 10 and here what we do we will add that the correction will be no and return key will be the search okay and so clear button we need it so if we need that is appears while editing okay make like this and now let's run the app So here you can see search but if I am doing right now then nothing is happening if I do this search or if you want to make it uh, a little automatic search then we don't need what we are doing this and when I use a tab on this search then the search will begin so here what we do 
open up your viewcontroller.swift file and here we say txt search var dot delegate is equals to self and here we say we are implementing ui text field delegate and let's look at what delegates we are going to use so one this call this and clear button is pressed so when clear button is pressed then we will dismiss our keyboard and here this one so just copy these and this okay so here we say go here and type mark ui text field delegates okay now here and one goes here so here let's say return true okay and here we say txt search var dot resign first responder okay so here it is and here we will write down the code that whenever search button is pressed sorry so we will make a search okay so let's start here we will return true okay and here we say if text or you can say txt search var dot text dot count is not equals to zero otherwise if it's not equal to zero then we will do perform of search then or otherwise it will not do anything so here first thing what we will do we will say self dot searched array dot remove all okay and then we say that for str in fruits array okay fruits array and we are not to let the let range because we need to detect range that whether a string is contained or not we say str and make it lower case because sometimes what happens that uh, the values have some capital character like we have here in uh, pineapple the a is capital so users just tap small p i n e so it will not work so it's better to make it lower case so str dot lower case dot range and here it's a range of this string protocol okay so here we have our text fields dot text okay and the option is dot case case insensitive okay and the range will be nil and the locale also nil oops, 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 oops. and here it is here okay so if our range is not equal to nil then what we say that self dot searched array dot a pen new element that is our str and it's done okay finally what we do we will say tbl search results dot reload data okay also one more thing we need to do here that if user cancel search then we will say self dot searched array dot remove all and here we will append all the content to our search array like here we did okay so here we have done now let's see if it works or not so value of string not unwrap so here we need to unwrap this
so here our app is run and we have a list so let's search and we search O R A and here we have so we have orange searched and when we untype it then nothing happens because we didn't remove uh, reload the table so we have tvl search results dot reload data and yeah let's see it should be false we can say returns false So here let's search and here it is so when done it's come back oops one more thing you have to do you have to make the empty so here we have txt search var dot text is equals to this okay so now let's run and our custom search is then in our next video we will learn how to perform search when user starts typing as soon as users type our character it automatically searches. currently we are only searching when user is typing so here lychee spelling is wrong so it's a lit and here you can see lychee so and when we clear it and hit scores and we have our results so this is a small tutorial where you learn how to perform search using custom UI search bar made by using UI text field. So if you like this tutorial then please give it a thumbs up and do share this tutorial. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please subscribe it so that you can get notified for our future video release. As in next video we will learn and how to make a custom search bar that is searching result dynamically or, or as or as soon as user starts typing so it will filter the result as per the character type by the user so this is the our uh, this is our next video and thanks for watching this video and uh, hope you enjoyed it and have a nice time ahead bye for now thanks for watching